For every goal I score with the Columbus Blue Jackets, I'm going to make one trade with this team, and then I'm going to simulate one season and see if we can win a Stanley Cup. For the team Columbus is going to be taking on, I'm selecting this completely at random, and it just happens to be the Tampa Bay Lightning. There's no other reason why we're taking on Tampa Bay. None at all. And of course, like usual, I'm playing on five minute periods with superstar difficulty and full sim style. It's not going to take too long for Columbus to get a great opportunity. Nikita Kucherov is going to be pinned against the boards, and Johnny Goudreau is going to be picking up the puck. He's going to fly into the zone, beating Eric Chernak, and he's going to get a shot off on Vasilevsky, and on the very first shot of the game, Johnny Goudreau was getting a shot in the back of the net on Vasilevsky, and we're already on the board. I definitely wasn't expecting us to get on the board this early. Like, this is Vasilevsky we just scored on in the first two minutes. So the team's looking great already. I'm going to continue to push with the Blue Jackets. We're getting a great opportunity, but on the slap shot, Boquist is breaking a stick, and that's a missed opportunity for us. And I think it's safe to say no one expected me to shut out Tampa. Nemestikov's going to send a rocket into the back of the net, and Tampa's tying it up with 14 minutes left in the first period. Let's keep it 100. There was absolutely no way I was going to shut this team out. I played terrible defense, and it's the Tampa Bay Lightning. They got a ton of great players and I can't give them opportunities like this. And speaking of opportunities like this, four minutes later, I'm giving them another elite opportunity of Merzlikens. He's making the big save and he's keeping this game tied. It's about time I put a bit of offensive pressure on Tampa Bay. So Oliver, he's bringing the puck into the zone. He's going between the legs, but he's getting an incredibly weak backhand off. If you got a bit of power on that, that might have beat Vasilevsky. The boys continue to push and Kent Johnson, he would have had a great opportunity if he didn't pass this directly to the goalie. That's a tough one. Oliver, he's going to feed Kent Johnson, who's right in front of the net, but Vasilevsky, he's making another fantastic save. I got a lock in here. I'm going to continue putting the pressure on and Oliver, he's going to do a little stop and go move, dishing it over to Boone Jenner, but he's not going to be quick enough and Vasilevsky's making that save. With less than three minutes left in the period, we're going to be drawing a penalty and that means it's time for us to go to work. But you know who else is going to be going to work during this power play? Vasilevsky. What an incredible save he's making here. But that's not going to stop me. Jack Roslovic, he's picking the puck up behind the net. He's going to find Voracek once again and this time Voracek's not going to ruin the opportunity and he's putting this one in the back of the net. But that first save by Vasilevsky, absolutely incredible. Heading into the first intermission, Columbus is going to have a 2-1 lead, but realistically this should be a high scoring game like 5-4 to four right now. Both of these goalies are playing incredible right now. Taking a look at the stats at the first intermission, I'm pretty happy with how the team's performing. 10 shots, 4 hits, 2.5 minutes of time on attack, not too much more I can ask for. I mean I could ask for a better passing percentage, but that's on me. So we're going to start the second period off with a bang here. Boone Jenner, he's going to win the face off, and the defense is doing absolutely nothing, so he's going to skate right down the middle and bury one in the back of the net. 19 seconds into the period, Tampa did not play any defense whatsoever here. And with that goal, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to pass the St. Louis Blues and YouTube subscribers, my favorite team, and of course the greatest team of all time. That's not up for debate, but the only issue, I won't be able to pass them because 76% of the people watching these videos aren't even subbed to the channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe, turn notifications on, and let's pass the Blues. Moments later, we're gonna have another fantastic opportunity, but Victor Hedman, he's breaking that play up. Okay, the one thing I have to mention, these all out plays are absolutely stupid. I think that was Nick Paul that just went flying into the boards. My guy, what are you doing? So we could have had a fantastic opportunity for a breakaway with Gustav Nyquist. He's just too slow. My guy, you got to turn on the Jets in this type of opportunity. Kalorin's going to poke the puck away from you, but you could have had a goal. But you know who has a great opportunity at a goal? Oliver. This dude's been dominating this game. A nice little spin move. He's going to get a shot off. Too bad he couldn't have cut towards the front of the net. The second period was incredibly disappointing for us. I'm going to keep it a stack. Other than this opportunity right here, we couldn't get anything going. And Tampa, they were absolutely dominating. So here we are at the second intermission, and I took three shots last period. Yeah, I can't really be too proud about that one. We're just going to ignore what happened there and we're going to lock in in the third period i can guarantee you that no i can't i suck at this game the fact that we've got three goals so far i'm actually pretty proud of but i really shouldn't be saying i'm proud of that because i scored six goals with chicago or five goals with chicago and got a hat trick with reese johnson so anything should be possible and we're also picking up a power play early in the third period so it's time to go to work and once again on the power play i just can't get anything going with this team we did get one good opportunity but it's just not enough so jack roslovic he's going to go to work here he's going to somehow get between five defenders and he's going to get a good opportunity at the net but that far side attempt it's not going to be beaten Vasilevsky and you know who else is refusing to allow a goal right now Elvis Merzlikens I don't know what's going on with this dude but he's locked in he's playing like a Vesna winner he's playing like one of the greatest goalies of all time there's no reason he should be playing this well right now but the performance he's putting on right now doesn't even compete to Vasilevsky's another amazing opportunity at a goal here but Vasilevsky he's just going to casually make a stop here and with just seconds left in the game Tampa's going to have the goalie pulled so we don't have to worry about being Vasilevsky Johnny Hockey he's going to bury this one in the back of the net and that means we're going to be making four trades with the Columbus Blue Jackets and we're going to try to win them a Stanley Cup. So looking at the team right now, we've got some decent pieces here, but clearly not a Stanley Cup team. The defense, we don't need to make too many adjustments, but I got to get Branson off this team. I'm not paying $4 million for this guy on the team. I'm going to dump his contract by any means necessary. And Merzlikens, I'm going to keep it a stack, my guy. You're not our Stanley Cup winning goaltender. I'm going to be trading for one. So the first trade we're making is going to be sending Juracek and Branson to the Ottawa Senators for Drake Batherson. Now I know I definitely could have got more assets here, but it's not a 
finesse if you win a Stanley Cup. So Batherson, welcome to the team. So the next thing that this team clearly needs is a better goaltender. So I'm going to be training one of our young prospects along with Merzlikens, Voracek in a second over to the Minnesota Wild. We're bringing in Marc-Andre Fleury, Jared Spurgeon, and Matthew Boldy. Not only are we improving our goaltending situation, but we're also bringing in a great defenseman for us. I'm going to be completely honest, this was an awful trade for us. Gustav Nyquist and a first rounder over to the LA Kings for Velarde, Anderson, and more. The logic behind this trade was we get a better defenseman and then we get two players for the third and fourth line. That's what my logic was making this trade. And then our final move, it's going to be the biggest move and of course it's going to be the best one yet. A first rounder, Alex Texier, and then two prospects over to the Boston Bruins. We're going to be bringing in Patrice Bergeron, David Krejci, and Pavel Zaka. This is by far the best move we're making and I probably should have made a move like this to start with. Here's what the new look Columbus Blue Jackets are looking like. We have Goudreau, Batherson, and Patrick Laine on the first line. Boone, Jenner, Bergeron, and Boldy on the second line. On the third line, we got Zaka, Krejci, and Roslovic. And then on the fourth line, we got Moore, Sillinger, and Velarde. Taking a look at the defense, Zach Rensky and Jared Spurgeon, they're going to be leading the way. While the rest of the defense, that's looking fairly similar. I would have put Anderson in here, but he actually drops the plus one overall boost on the third line, so I thought I'd stick with what we have. And in between the pipes, of course, we got Marc-Andre Fleury, and he's definitely a guy I can rely on. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate halfway through the season, and then we'll see how the Blue Jackets are looking. At the halfway point, the team's looking absolutely fantastic with a 26-11-5 record, and we're sitting fifth in the entire league, only behind the Blues, the greatest team of all time. That shouldn't be a surprise. And the Montreal Canadiens. Now that one should be a surprise. Nah, but real talk, looking at the top five teams here, we have the Blues, Montreal, Blue Jackets, Tampa, who's legit, and the Anaheim Ducks. These are today's current rosters. What's going on here? Johnny Hockey, he's going to be dominating, and he's leading the way. 12 goals and 37 assists for 49 points. And Fleury, incredible numbers. 22 wins, 5 shots, a 926 save percentage, and 211 goals against. We can definitely win a Stanley Cup with you in net. When the season came to an end, Columbus is finishing strong. They're going to finish with a 52, 25, and 5 record, and they're actually leading the NHL in wins with 52. The only reason Tampa's ahead of us is because of those 10 OT losses. Johnny Hockey, it should be no surprise he's going to be leading the way for us. 85 points, consisting of 24 goals and 61 assists, while Mark andre Fleury, 38 wins, 8 shutouts, a 922 save percentage, and 224 goals against. Let's go get ourselves a Stanley Cup. Looking at the entire league, Steven Stamkos is going to be leading the way with 39 goals and 64 assists for 103 points, while one of the greatest goalies of all time, Jordan Bennington, 44 wins, a 909 save percentage, and 265 goals against. Please return to your Stanley Cup form. Then again, I can't really put all the blame on you. Our defense looks atrocious right now, but it also would help if you played a bit better. I'm, I'm just going to keep it 100, my guy. Also, show to Blues legend Jake the Snake. He's tied for second and wins with 39. And if you actually look a bit further down, there's Billy Huso with 35. St. Louis knows how to draft them goaltenders, I can tell you that. So in the first round, we're ready to go to work. We're going to warm up against Florida, and I'm expecting us to do some big things. Florida's not going to put up too much of a fight against us, and we're taking them down in five games. And in the second round, we're taking on the Carolina Hurricanes, but I don't care about Carolina whatsoever. Tampa just fell to Detroit in the first round. If we can get past Carolina, we can easily beat Buffalo or Detroit. So as long as we win this series, we're making a Stanley Cup push. The one condition for us to make a Stanley Cup push was we had to get past the Carolina Hurricanes. We had a 2-1 series lead and then lost the next three games. You guys had one job. Nah, but seriously, we should have made a Stanley Cup push here. Now I understand Carolina is a fantastic team, but that's not really the issue here. Look at the playoff picture here. The Calgary Flames beat the Buffalo Sabres in the Stanley Cup final, while the Anaheim Ducks made it to the second round. That doesn't really make too much sense if you ask me. 